Hi everyone, I'm Dave. Welcome back to my hand of the week. Played this hand a week ago on BBO. I am in the north seat. And the bidding goes past. I open a diamond, intending on rebidding two no trump. My partner bids a heart, my four card major, and I bid four hearts. My partner bids blackwood. I answer one or four key cards. My partner bids five no trump, telling me we have all of the key cards, and asks me to bid my cheapest king. And I bid six diamonds, and he bids seven hearts. And we get a club lead. And if South analyzes the hand, he has two spade tricks. Five heart tricks is seven, two diamonds for nine, and three clubs for twelve. And virtually no way to set up a thirteenth trick. Uh, the diamonds might split three three, but you'd have to lose a diamond to set up a diamond. The spade suit, I guess if the queen jack Doubleton was with either East or West, uh, or even a Singleton Honor with East, you would have some play for a 13th trick. So you're in pretty dire straits here as the Clare, and um, no need to block up the club suit. And what is our plan going to be here? Usually when you have 12 tricks and no legitimate chance of 13 tricks, you want to consider a squeeze to get your 13th trick. And despite the likelihood of the squeeze working, you want to assume that it is. In other words, if West is protecting, uh, has both Queen Jack spades, or uh, even if he has six spades and East has the doubleton spade honor, the key suit is spades and diamonds. You, South has threat cards with the ten of spades, and someone has to keep three diamonds. So the best person to possibly squeeze would be West. And um, you're going to squeeze someone on the fifth heart. So uh, we do need to pull Trump, play the Ace of Hearts, and realize we get a 4-0 split. And that doesn't really hurt us any. Go ahead and play the King of Hearts. Pulling Trump. Uh, West pitches a club. And the Three of Hearts to the Queen. West can pitch one spade. And then we pull the last Trump with the Jack of Hearts. West can pitch a Diamond. And now we're getting down to a squeeze position. Uh, we do want to strip clubs before we play our squeeze card. So we do that. And now I play the Queen of Clubs. And I don't need that fourth diamond. And now. If I lay down the six of hearts, I'm not necessarily going to know that West is squeezed. Um, in other words, 
if they pitch a diamond, I'm not sure if they're if East is guarding diamonds. So rather than lay down my squeeze card, the best play is to lay down the king of spades. And we also don't know what happens yet. I don't know if Queen Jack was doubleton, perhaps. Now I know it's not. And so now my best hope is to play for West being squeezed in spades and diamonds. And when I lead my fifth art, uh, he clearly is not going to pitch a spade. If he did, I would pitch the diamond. Uh, and if he pitches a diamond, I can actually afford to pitch a diamond here because my three of diamonds in my hand is also a threat card. And East can pitch um, a spade or a club. He doesn't need either of those cards. And now notice that uh, West is squeezed. Uh, I'll play a diamond. I'll put the king and a diamond back to my ace. And now my nine of diamonds is good. And six of spades to the board for 13 tricks. So this, I don't know that there's def, uh, this is a simple squeeze, but I like to think of it as a desperation squeeze because there's lots of hands where you can do simple squeezes. But the ones that uh, I, I call desperation squeezes is where you have absolutely no possibility, no finesses, uh, no way to take an extra trick unless you can squeeze somebody. And this is such a hand for making seven hearts. So thanks all for watching, and I will talk to you next time.